Hello everyone and welcome to Stardew Valley and I am so excited to be here. You guys know I am totally in love with Harvest Moon and Rune Factory type games and Stardew Valley is a new game, an indie game that has come out that is supposed to be a spiritual successor to the Harvest Moon style of play made by one guy who has poured years of work into creating what is hopefully going to be an absolutely amazing experience. So basically, we're diving in. We're going to be probably running the family farm. If my guess is right, it's probably our grandpa's farm, following in the tradition of many, many Harvest Moon games. We'll have crops, we'll have animals. I've seen just little bits and pieces. I've tried not to peek too much, but I know that there's even the mines, there's fishing. You can help out uh, with building up a museum. I'm pretty sure you can probably start a family too. So let's go ahead and get started and see what Stardew Valley is all about. I am so excited oh my goodness yes i love games like these oh yes okay all right so let's go ahead and make ourselves so we're gonna be siri and we're gonna be on the moss leaf farm because i love that and my favorite thing um i want to say birds moss let's do moss my favorite thing is moss um, let's see, and let's see if I can find, I love how many skin colors there are to pick from. Oh my gosh, there's even like, <laughs> there's even really bright ones. Oh, we could be a little alien. We could be green if we wanted to. We could be a plant sim. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. We could be purple if we wanted to. Holy moly. Well, I think that probably the one that suits me the best is gonna be, is it probably two? Just a light tan. So there's that. Oh my gosh, look how many hairs there are. This is amazing. Oh, I could have really long hair, like my real hair. I can even look at myself from different angles. Oh, that's so sweet. All right, so let's see. My real hair is very, very long. And you can have really cool hair. I wonder if you can change your hair after you've made your character. Let me see any other long styles really quickly. I do always like the ponytail style though, like a high ponytail. For getting work done is always good, but it's so rare that you can have super long hair that I'm kind of tempted to go with that instead. All right, so here's hair 25. Kind of looks like mine, actually. Um, it just doesn't seem like that'd be super comfortable for farming, you know what I mean? Oh my gosh, this is actually much closer to my real hair. We're gonna go with this and I'm gonna see if I can get, let's see, shirt. Oh my gosh, I could have a beard if I wanted to. Oh, I could even have earrings, no way. And glasses, lipstick, oh my gosh, a visor. There are so many choices. What was that? It's a duck bill. I could have a duck bill if I wanted to have a duck bill. Oh my gosh, this is too great. All right, well, um, you know what? Let's kind of maybe go for a cute little pair of earrings. Why not? Let's go for a cute little pair of earrings. And let's see if we can find a shirt that I really like that just sort of fits. Hmm, maybe this? I like the vest. We might go with the little vest, you guys. I had no idea there were gonna be this many choices. This is fantastic. Oh my goodness, that's cute. All right, let's see. Hmm, let's see, there's a little shirt there. I really had no idea there was gonna be this much to choose from. Oh, what about this? Nice green shirt. I think I like that nice little green shirt. We'll probably go back to that in just a second. There's like 50, we're in the 50s. Oh, this is just too cool. Normally you're given like two things to choose from and it's just like sayonara sucker. And you just have to like run with whatever your character is. Oh my gosh. I would, I don't even know where to, we're in the seventies. Really? Okay, I'm gonna have to just pick something. All right, hang on just a second. I just kind of want to run through things. Make sure we're not gonna miss out on like just the right outfit for us. But I'm pretty sure it's going to be something a little more serious because it doesn't look like I can change my pants just yet. Are you kidding me? We're seriously going like this high. Okay, now we're zooming around again. All right, I kind of really liked this, but there was a better colored one. I can't believe there's over 100. Was it this one? I really like this look. This looks like a good farm look to me. All right, an eye color, brown, hair color, um, darker brown is me. Pants color, oh, I could change the pants color. I didn't even notice that until like right this second. Okay, well maybe like just some nice darker farming pants. All right, I think we're good to go. All right, okay. Oh my gosh, that was really a lot to pick from already. Oh my goodness. Oh, what's this? Is that grandpa? 
And for my very special granddaughter. Oh? Hello? Is that is that a letter for me? I want you to have the sealed envelope. Okay. Oh, his little mouth is moving. Okay. All right, what's going on here? No, no, don't open it yet. Have patience. Okay, he has a sword. Now listen close. Okay, Grandpa. There will come a day when you feel crushed by the burden of modern life. Okay. Are you, are you gonna be okay? You're kinda twitchy. And your bright spirit will fade before a growing emptiness. Ooh, that's tricks a little bit too close to real life home when you live in like a big city sometimes. When that happens, my dear, you'll be ready for this gift. Oh gosh, the moonlight, it's getting thicker. It, Grandpa? Oh boy. Now let Grandpa rest. Years later. Oh boy. <laughs> really? I'm working? Look at us! I'm working in a little cube. Work, 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 work. Joja. I did not anticipate this. Smile. You're with Joja. Terminated. There's all sorts of people. Somebody is like where? Oh my gosh. She's got like all sorts of medicines. There's coffee. Oh, is that me? Oh my gosh, look at the <laughs> skeleton to the far right. Oh. Oh no, it looks like I'm sad. Do I feel crushed by the burden of modern life? Is that what's happening here? Okay. Dear Siri, if you're reading this, then you must be in dire need of a change. The same thing happened to me long ago. I'd lost sight of what mattered most in life. Real connections with other people and nature, which is so true. So I dropped everything and moved to the place I truly belong. I've enclosed the deed to that place, my pride and joy, Moss Leaf Farm. It's located in Stardew Valley on the southern coast. It's the perfect place to start your new life. This was my most precious gift of all, and now it's yours. I know you'll honor the family name, my dear. Good luck. Love, Grandpa. P.S. If Lewis is still alive, say hi to the old guy for me, will ya? Oh my goodness. Oh, thank you, Grandpa. The deed to the farm. I like how he let you kind of learn about its value by going through modern life first and working at Georgia, apparently. I wonder if we made good money and we just like had our soul sucked out. All right, this is pretty. Stardew Valley, half a mile. Birds, oh my goodness, little birds. <laughs> it's so cute. All right, what's going on here? Hello? Hello, you must be Siri. I'm Robin, the local carpenter. Mayor Lewis sent me here- Oh, so Lewis is still alive! Sent me here to fetch you and show you the way to your new home. He's there right now, tidying things up for your arrival. The farm's right over here, if you'll follow me. Oh my gosh, this is so cool! Oh, look at the classic nostalgia of the old family farm, so overgrown. This is Mossley Farm. <laughs> I know. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. There's so much work to do. What's the matter? Sure, it's a bit overgrown, but there's some good soil underneath that mess. With a little dedication, you'll have it cleaned up in no time. Oh gosh, and I am I am the workaholic like that. I would love something like this as a project. Oh, look at all the wood stocked up too. And here we are, your new home. Oh, hello. Is this Lewis? It is! Ah, the new farmer. Welcome, I'm Lewis, mayor of Pelican Town. You know, everyone's been asking about you. It's not every day that someone new moves in. It's quite a big deal. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> so you're moving into your grandfather's old cottage. It's a good house, very rustic. <laughs> oh, I wonder what this is up here. Interesting. Rustic? That's one way to put it. Crusty might be a little more apt, though. Rude! <laughs> Don't listen to her, Siri. She's just trying to make you dissatisfied so that you'll buy one of her house upgrades. 
<laughs> Looks like she got caught out. Anyway, you must be tired from the long journey. You should get some rest. Tomorrow, you ought to explore the town a bit and introduce yourself. The townspeople would appreciate that. All right. Man, I didn't bring anything with me either. Oh, I almost forgot. If you have anything to sell, just place it in this box here. I'll come by during the night to collect it. Like a little, like a little thief, Mayor? Well, good luck. Oh my gosh. Nice to meet you, Robin. Okay, are we gonna rest? <laughs> Do we already have a chicken? We already have a rooster? What's this? Yay, progress has been saved. Oh, look at our little house. Oh my goodness. Okay, so this is our little house. And we have all sorts of little tools already. Watering can, pickaxe, a scythe, a uh, little hoe, an axe. Oh my gosh. All right, what's this? Oh, it's a journal. Introductions. It would be a nice gesture to introduce yourself around town. Some people might be anxious to meet the new farmer. <gasps> we have little like missions and goals. Okay, so we need to go greet um, 26 more people, which is gonna be really cool. So I guess we're working on that. And then can I, oh, no, I don't wanna like chop this. Oh, there we go. Okay, so right click parsnip seeds, new journal entry. You received 15 parsnip seeds. Here's a little something to get you started. Mayor Lewis. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, can I select channel, weather report? Welcome to Kozu 5, your number one source for weather, news, and entertainment. And now the weather forecast for tomorrow. It's going to rain all day. Oh, that'll be awesome because then we won't have to water anything. Okay, oh my gosh, I love seeing the weather forecast and seeing these things. It's getting serious Harvest Moon 64 nostalgia. If you guys have done har like played Harvest Moon 64, please let me know. All right, let's look at living off the land. Welcome to living off the land. We're back up again for another tip for y'all. Now listen up. This one's for all you greenhorns out there. Chop wood and search for wild forage to earn some cash while waiting for your first harvest. All right, how much cash do I have? Okay, I have 500 gold. New journal entry, getting started. If you want to become a farmer, you have to start with the basics. Use your hoe to till the soil, then use a seed pack on the tilled soil to sow a crop. Water every day until the crop is ready for a harvest. Cultivate and harvest a parsnip. Oh, it's like the turnips being the first thing you start with. And just for fun, let's go ahead. No, I didn't, oh my gosh. I didn't want to do that, but now I know how to move my TV, I guess. All right, fortune teller. Ah, since the new viewer has joined us, a young lady from Stardew Valley. Welcome, welcome. The spirits are in good humor today. I think you'll have a little extra luck. That was really cool. It actually reminded me of the guy from Persona. All right, let's go ahead and get moving. So we have a lot of parsnips. And let's see, I can chop things. I should probably do my introductions. Okay. So if I wanted to chop things, and I selected the scythe, oh, there we go. Okay, and is this gonna use up a lot of my energy? What about, I don't really have a hammer. Can I move this? No, that's not really gonna help me. What about a pickaxe? Oh, pickaxe to break stones. Oh, that was easy. All right, so that's not so bad. And then I need the scythe again. All right, here we go. And what can I do with this? Fiber, raw material sourced from plants. Stone, a common material with many uses in crafting and building. I wonder if there's a way, no, I don't think there's a way just yet for me to learn what those resources are. Let's get a good look before I start, well, let's like clear the path that we need. But let's get a good look around our farm really quickly. So, oh, what's this? There's like a little statue back here. All right, and this is in the way. All right, and then this is in the way. So let's get these plant pieces out of the way. All right, there's a little path down there. And it looks like over here, what's this, a little cave? Can we go into it already? Oh, it's just a tiny little cave. I wonder if I can grow mushrooms in here. Oh, that would be so cool. All right, let's see what else is going on. It looks like this was an outbuilding that may be burned down. Oh my gosh, we have so much more space than I thought we would. Wow. It makes sense to me that we should like tour the grounds first though. So what's over here? What is this? Can I, can I look at something? Yeah, what's this? Siri, wait for my return on the dawn of your third year from grandpa. That's a little spooky. Now we're getting like notes from our, our dead grandpa that we're just finding. Wait for my return. I wonder if we've, we've gotten ourselves into something that's, oh my gosh, those were little frogs. Did you see them? I wonder if we've gotten ourselves into some trouble. If grandpa like actually needs us here for some sort of deep magical ritual of some sort. 
All right, but I don't think so. I think we just need to take good care of the family farm. All right, dawn of the third year. I'm gonna remember that. All right, well, I've got myself good and stuck. These trees have actually changed types. Good and stuck in the back here. So I think I'm just gonna have to fight my way through to get back over to the front. So let's keep moving. All right, out of my way, out of my way, grass. All right, oh my gosh, there's so much grass everywhere. And it's kind of holding me back. All right, there we go. So yeah, we've got a big farm, you guys. This is gonna be interesting. So let's go ahead and work our way into town. It's already 10 in the morning. I am already lost in the fields. That's what I get for trying to like wander too far back. All right. And I don't really, what is this? Can I move you? I can't really move this. All right, come up here. There we go. There we go, jeez. We really got ourselves stuck back there. Well, let's go ahead and go into town because we need to greet some people. So what does this say? All right, so we can investigate things. Bus stop and then Pelican Town is this way. All right, so Pelican Town in Stardew Valley. I wonder if I can catch those frogs one day. Let's see what's going on over here. And let's not accidentally like wave our scythe in someone's face because I don't think that would be good. <gasps> Look at the pigeons! Oh my goodness, little birdos! Birdos! Oh, they're so cute. And what's this? Okay. Oh, there's a calendar! There's a calendar with birthdays! So Louis's birthday is coming up. There's an egg festival, a flower dance, Pierre's birthday, Emily, Shane, Haley, Pam, Vincent. That is so friendly and nice that everybody has their birthdays just like right there. Where are we now? <gasps> it's so colorful! Seeds for sale! Oh my gosh. Hello? Um, okay, it'd probably be best just to come up. Oh, there's a rock sack for sale! Oh my gosh. Okay, let's come up and maybe chat with him first. Welcome to Pierre's. Need some supplies? So parsnip seeds, bean starter. Plant these in spring. Takes 10 days to mature, but keeps producing after that. Yields multiple beans per harvest. Grow on trellis. Ooh. Um, can I buy some of those? Oh, okay, so you just have to click on them once to buy from them. And then there's tulip bulbs. Oh my gosh. You know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead. Um, okay. Oh, I think this is closed off to me. I'm gonna go ahead and buy a couple, like, okay, I'm gonna get, like, a few tulip bulbs. So I think you only get, like, one, one seed thing equals, okay, we're gonna risk it with the beans there. There's kale, jazz seeds. Wow, it produces a little bluebell flower. Okay, we're gonna have to grab one of those. There's grass starter. Sugar adds sweetness to pastries and candy. Oh my gosh, there's so much stuff. Oh, there's even flooring. There's cherry saplings. There's saplings for different trees. Oh my goodness, and things to be able to make food. You can even have some rice to give you health and energy. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna go ahead. Let's see, kale, harvest with the scythe. You can get that too. So let's see, you can also get beans, more parsnips, cauliflower, produces a large cauliflower. You know what, let's go ahead. We're gonna get just, a, nah, let's get like um, maybe four kale seeds. Oh, I just spent all of my money. <laughs> I really was not paying attention, whoops a dips Okay, well apparently I'm extremely impulsive with my funds. So I've learned that about myself. Can we talk to like actual Pierre? If, can I come back here? and chat with them. Hey, it's Miss Siri, the new farmer. I'm Pierre, owner of the local general store. If you're looking for seeds, my shop is the place to go. I'll also buy produce from you for a good price. Oh, wonderful, so we can we can come and meet with him. A little, ag a little agriculture could really inject new life into the economy. Oh, good to know, so they're relying on me to like help add new life into the economy. Okay, can't talk to him anymore. Abigail, huh? What's this? Oh, oh my gosh, I think she's like one of the potential like bachelors or bachelorettes. And I think you can actually pick either gender if you want to date either gender, which is a huge plus in my book. Oh, that's right. I heard someone new was moving on to that old farm. Um, hello, yes. It's kind of a shame, really. I always enjoyed exploring exploring those overgrown fields by myself. Well, you could join me at least. Um, okay, so we, I think we've introduced ourselves to her. So that makes introductions. Yeah, okay. Oh my gosh, somebody's actually like coming out. Oh my gosh, people are moving around during the time. <gasps> That's so cool. All right, let's see if we can introduce ourselves to her. Hello, you must be Siri, another bachelorette, the new farmer. I'm Caroline. All right, 
My husband. Oh, no, she's not a bachelorette. So I guess those just mean like it's how much each villager likes you. That is really cool. My husband runs the general store here. And have you met my daughter, Abigail? She's the one with the pale, uh, the pale one with purple hair. Well, that, that does make her stand out, Caroline. Thank you. All right. So now we've met her and you can't really chat with them after you meet them. So let's see. Leia. Hello. It's nice to meet you. All right. You picked a good time to move here. The spring is lovely. Nice to meet you too, Leo. Oh my gosh. So lots of people. And I bought like way too many things. I got a little over eager. Apparently this particular person is a bit of an overspender. All right. Let's go ahead and work our way in here. Oh my gosh. Look at this. Can I actually like look at these things? Don't spread disease. Cover your sneeze. This is so cute. The clinic is licensed for medical practice by the Ferngill Republic Health um, Authority. Oh my gosh. Can I can I come in? Hello? Hello? Nobody here. You're not good enough friends with Harvey to enter his bedroom. Oh gosh. <laughs> I don't want to just be like running into somebody's bedroom. Is there is there anything else I can do over here? Okay, apparently not. Well I'm not I'm not gonna poke around. Um let's see, what does this say? Can I read this? Almost. Let's see. Um. Oh gosh, I can't read it. Oh my goodness, can I talk with her? Dang it, I don't think we can speak with them very much more. Oh, that's the birdies! Birdies! I'm so happy to be here, birdies! Oh, here's a new person! Hello! Oh, you aren't exactly how I imagined, but that's okay. I'm Jody. Um, well, you're not exactly how I imagined either, Miss Jody. It's a it's a quiet little town, so it's not so it's very exciting when someone new moves in. Having a farmer around could really change things. Oh gosh, I wonder what you guys are, are expecting of me. Nice to meet you, Jody. Oh goodness, here's another person. Um, hello, ma'am. Why, hello and welcome to our community, dear. You can call me Granny if you like. Oh, hello, Miss Evelyn. Very nice to meet you. So she's just tending to her flowers. I wonder if Grandpa's in this graveyard over here, you guys. There's the sewer, by the way, you guys. <laughs> oh, I wouldn't want to have the graveyard near the sewer. Is, is, is this Grandpa? Is Grandpa buried here? Our beloved Mona. Oh. Um. Interesting. I can't read that at all. Hmm. All right, can I read this one? Nope. What about this one? It's old and faded. Oh, that's so sweet. All right, so let's see. Sewer and then over here. This is somebody's house, I think. Do I just like... Hello? Okay, I just wandered into somebody's house. This is definitely a small town. <laughs> they don't seem like they are too concerned. Oh my gosh. Oh, what's going on over here? Dog? Dog food? Hello? Oh, aren't you the one who moved in? I'm Maru. I've been looking forward to meeting you. Oh, this is cool. You know, with a small town like this, a new face can really alter a community dynamic. It's exciting. Oh, gosh. Oh, my goodness. All right, hello. So there's like a dog house. Here's a trailer. Um, hello? Oh, gosh. I'm just wandering into everybody's homes. Oh, um, hello, person. Hi. Penny? Oh, did you want something? Um, very nice to meet you then, Penny. Sorry, I just walked into your house. I guess that's that's uh, accepted behavior here. Oh my gosh. So there's a little river. A little trailer home. I did not expect that. <gasps> Look at the little owl up here. Okay, let's see if we can visit with a few more people. Then I think I need to plant some things before we go to bed tonight. All right, hello? George. Hmm. <laughs> it's irritating to have to meet all these new people, huh? Name's George, by the way. Now buzz off. Hmm. <laughs> oh gosh. All right. Sorry, George. All right, so maybe old man George in his wheelchair. Um, um, so that's Alex. Uh, apparently he heard us out in the hallway, so maybe we can introduce ourselves now. Um, hello, Alex. Hello? Hey, you're the new girl, huh? I think we're going to get along great. I'm Alex. And nice to meet you, Alex. I'll see you around. Yep, you too. <laughs> I love how we can just wander into everybody's homes. Oh, wow. Oh my goodness, what's this? Oh, did I meet her? Yeah, I met with her. Did I meet her? I'm pretty sure I met with her. Oh gosh, I need to like walk around. I love how people move around and it looks like they visit. Of course, they've already got their own little community dyna dynamic going. And it looks like that's Alex's dog house maybe. The Star Drop Salon, food and spirits. So what's going on back here? Hello, person. Oh wow, you can get like a ton of food here. 
hash brown recipes, omelet recipes, pancake recipes, bread recipes, tortilla recipes. You can get tons and crispy bass, maki roll recipes. Nice. So you can buy a whole bunch of like recipes for cooking here. Let's come and introduce ourselves. Well, hello there. I'm Gus, chef and owner of the Star Drop Salon. Nice to meet you, Gus. Hi there, Siri. I'm glad to see you. You're always welcome here. You run in a pretty nice establishment, sir. All right, who's this? Oh, I can read it on your face. You're going to love it here in Pelican Town. If, you ever, if you're ever looking for something to do in the evening, stop by the salon. That's where I work. Well, it's awesome, Emily. Very nice to meet you. Um, is the salon like, oh gosh, here's another new person who's coming by for a drink at like five. Hey kid, the name's Pam. Hey kid, I'd buy you a drink if I could afford it. <laughs> That's very nice of you, Pam. Oh, we can still talk to her a little bit more. Um, that is so interesting. Okay, so we ch chatted with her for a little bit. It looks like that is like personal family dining area. So we'll get out of here. Pam's coming by for a drink at 5.30 p.m. We probably need to go back home. Oh, there's even a little arcade. Wow. And just like storage area. This is much more small town, like Americana sort of feel than I anticipated. Very cool. Oh, here's another new person. Hey, I don't know you. Why are you talking to me? So this is Shane. And we, he's like creeped out because we just walked up to him. All right, so it is 6 p.m. It's probably gonna get pretty late soon. I haven't even like visited a fragment of the town, but we're gonna run back to our farm because we need to do a little bit of farming before the day is over. So I don't know what we're going to find. Like, we're gonna probably have to look around for things that we could sell. Um, we could try to sell this fiber, I guess. It's a natural resource. So can I throw all of it in there? We're just gonna chuck all of it in there and hopefully the mayor will be like, that's okay, I can sell it for you. And then let's try to do a little bit of gardening. So, all right, I wanna do some gardening right in front of my yard here. So, oh, we, we got something from the soil when we were doing the gardening. Oh, sweet. It's actually really easy if you stand in the right spot to do the gardening. All right, so that's clay used in crafting and construction. And where do the, how do I tell it where I want the seeds to go? So I put the tulips along there. And I actually want to put the beans down today, too. Because I think that that would be kind of useful to have beans growing. So I'm going to put beans on either side. And I'm actually going to sprinkle the kale kind of down here. So there we go. And now I need to water everybody. So beans. Oops. Don't, don't, don't do that. Okay. There we go. I wonder if I can just kind of like walk in water. I think one of the first things we'll really want to do is upgrade our equipment as usual. All right. So there's that. That should probably be pretty good. And then we're running a little low on water. But thankfully, if I push our way through here... Oh gosh, there's another frog! Oh, that's so cute! Then we actually have some water right here. There's even lily pads! Oh my goodness, there's even lily pads here. Can I just fill up right here? Yes, okay, so that's how we would fill up. And let's actually put like some of the um, parsnips down here, I guess. I mean, it looks like it would make a pretty good field. Other than the fact the rocks are kind of in the way. Can I move the rocks with the little pick? We have got a lot of energy. All right, so let's go ahead and we won't stay up much later because I don't know how late we can be before she starts getting super tired. And we don't want to get like too overwhelmed with things that we have to take care of. But I would like to start just like a little, little parsnip pile over here because we're going to need the money. And if this is anything like the Harvest Moon games, then the mayor, whose birthday is really soon, actually really enjoys these. So let's go ahead and get these planted. There we go. And then we'll go ahead and water everything. Yeah, look at that. If you stand in just the right place, it is actually super easy to water these guys. Nice. Whoops, missed the spot. There we go. And then I think I'm going to do... Yeah, we've actually got a ton of energy. Look at that. We have a lot more energy than I anticipated. All right, and we're gonna put down the last parsnips. Oh, it's so dark. I think we're actually supposed to make like lamps and things in the future. And I, like I said, I've been really good about not looking at any other Let's Plays, not looking at anything, because I want to keep it all a surprise. All right, and there we go. All right, you guys. So this has been our very first day out. I'm not really sure how it's gone. I'm a little nervous to try to do like this cleaning up of the area. 
but we still have a little bit of energy, so I want to try to clean as much of our farmyard as possible, but it's so dark. It's already so amazingly dark. All right, let's do this. There we go. Seems like we're doing good. I can see these rocks. I can see these rocks. All right, it's 11 p.m. though, so I'm gonna let her go ahead and go to bed. So let's go on inside. And there we are. So I don't even think we have any lights on in the house. So that's something we'll have to work on, but I will see you guys next time. Here we are on Mossley Farm. We are going to make it an absolutely fantastic, beautiful place. I cannot wait, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.